left over there is the bedroom and to the right over here is your living area and what we saw straight ahead was one of the five balconies this particular room interestingly you can actually reach out right there and pick your own flowers if you want from your balcony okay so let's uh, move on so as you walk in here you have a guest restroom forgive the trash and you have here just a half bathroom with a lot of extra space toward this direction you have the living area some artwork and a table on the way in and then your dining and living area table for four here and some pretty decently high though i wouldn't say vaulted ceilings to the right the living area has two couches the one on the right over there does open up to become a bed the one on the left does not in the center there's a table and between them over here a large piece of furniture with the tv back behind it there's a configuration for this room i don't know what floors or what room numbers but some of these apparently are configured so that there are extra beds in this room as opposed to or in addition to the couch um, we were just two so we didn't need that there's a chair over here and then a couch or sorry then a desk over here and there are a couple plugs in the lamp here there are none of those usb ports that are really common in hotels these days they're a little bit behind when it comes to that all right so here is balcony number two you'll notice that there's no furniture on a lot of these balconies and that's true of this room we have a total i believe of two chairs and one table for our five balconies but you can see that there's definitely a partial ocean view and this is although it's on the fourth floor it's technically three floors up from where you see the grass because of the way the first floor here is kind of sunken in so if you're counting down you're going to notice that we're just three floors down each of the sliding glass doors has a screen door in front of it which is nice because there are some bugs and there are some birds um, if you decide you want to open those up you do have the shears and you do have the drapes you could technically i guess kind of have it free flowing but uh we did have birds in the room very briefly when we briefly had the screen door open the view here from this particular room is quite nice the sunset is pretty spectacular and fantastic about whether you would have access to more chairs or they could put more chairs out there for you. But as of right now, this room, you'd be hard pressed to, to really accommodate more than two people on the balconies. There's no kitchen here, not even really a kitchenette. There's a wet bar. So you have a sink and then down below, there is a small refrigerator. The ice machine, which is near the elevators has a small microwave public use microwave there as well as of this day we don't remember that from previous days but there was as of this day so here's your little ice bucket and your little coffee maker tea maker thing we had exactly two tea bags i believe <laughs> that's it all right so now let's head back toward the living i should say the bedroom sorry this is the living room all right so we're going to walk this way now so we've seen three of the balconies all right so as you walk into the bedroom on the right side you have a lot of closet space as well as some shelving and a space there are the two luggage racks 
here's the safe and there's the hair dryer. There's also space up top. Unlike some of the other rooms here at the White Kaloa Village, this room, we assume, because it's sweet, comes with robes. Other rooms, you have to either ask for them and they allow them or don't. We've had mixed experiences with bathrobes here. These are fairly thick ones though, which is nice. Looks like they're made by Majestic. You also have your iron and ironing board, which I hope while you're in Hawaii, you don't have to use, but I suppose if you're here for a wedding or something like that, that might be useful. I'm proud to say we've never used an iron while in Hawaii. Oh, there's an extra pillow up top there. Okay, so now let's head into the bathroom. The bathroom hasn't changed much since we stayed in this room years ago. It's big though. We've got a very large space in this bathroom. Twin sinks. You have a separate shower and bath. And then there is a, se a separate room for the toilet right here. They have upgraded amenities in this room. Um, I'm sorry, I can't show them to you because it looks like we took the soap. Anyway, if nothing else, you get a shower cap. You do have some plugs in here if you want to charge devices in the bathroom. The room, the bedroom itself is, is sort of lacking when it comes to plugs and charging for devices. Um, there are moments where this suite does show its age, as you can see, though they have done, a, I think, a, a fair job of updating the furnishings and the carpet and such, as well as the artwork. Okay, so now let's proceed into the bedroom. So it's a king bed here with a mirror to the left, full-size mirror, it's pretty cool. I suppose, again, if you're doing one of those those uh, milestone events at the hotel, it'd be good to, and you're dressing up, that'd be good to have. There's a gaming device that I believe is fairly dated. <laughs> don't ask me, <laughs> I don't know anything about gaming. Uh, earlier we referenced uh, COVID, and so here you are with some of the COVID protocols and whatnot. There are plastic bags here for the linens and towels and discarded items. Um, I We're only here for one night, so I don't know if they actually have uh, housekeeping service every day in the rooms. I'm going to guess based on those bags, the answer is no. But uh, they say that the rooms are all sanitized before you check in. And we did, in fact, see a person with a housekeeping cart and then somebody else with what appeared to be a sanitizing cart and they were quite different so there's your bed and you have the nightstands unfortunately no device charging ports here no plugs no usb if you want to try to charge something you have to try to snake or fish your way through the cables back there the closest we found in this particular room was a plug over here next to the closet. So last night we were charging our devices way over here while we slept. All right, two more balconies to show you. First, there's a little fainting couch right there. Here is a balcony that faces to the south. You do have a bit of the uh, back of house view, as it were. Oh, we have two more chairs. I take that back. Okay, so I'm wrong. Uh, so wait, wait a minute, there are two more over there. Never mind. We have six chairs. I take it all back. Sorry. Okay, so we do have six chairs here. I don't know why I thought we only had two. Um, so uh, yeah, so a little bit of a back of house view here. The upside is that this is a great view for two things. First, the sunrise in the morning and then stargazing at night. We had a great view of the stars last night. In fact, we spotted a shooting star within just a couple seconds of stepping outside. It was quite amazing. Uh, all right, so and here's the final balcony. This one is facing to the east. This is the one we had where we had the good stargazing last night. What's I think beneficial about this particular balcony is that um, you can hang out here in the afternoon if you want. There's a decent breeze and uh, get an escape, if you will, <laughs> from the direct sun. Um, so you can take in the sun on the other balcony as much as you want. 
And then if you need a break from it, you can switch over here and then vice versa. So basically like this morning, I watched the sunrise over here. It got a little intense. And then I switched over to the balcony that faces toward the Pacific Ocean. And I was able to balance out the sun exposure, which is nice. And you can do the same thing in the afternoon when, um, like I said, when you can uh, get too much of the sun out facing toward the Pacific, you can move over here and take a little bit of a break, a little bit of a break and take in the golf course. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed the video here. And if you do come stay here, we can recommend this room. Um, I'm not sure what rates will be like. I can tell you that when we booked this, the pandemic was still pretty much rocking and rolling, unfortunately. So the rates were competitive, I'll say. We paid less than $300 a night for this room. And um, I will warn you that Anyway, if you're a Hilton Honors member, I would highly encourage you to stand your ground with them about that. And uh, it's entirely likely that if you are polite and firm, they will take care of you. Okay, thanks for watching. If you like what we do here, let us know. I'll do the obligatory like and subscribe business. And if you do visit Aloha, uh, Hawaii, aloha. Mm -hmm.